The review of the OPIC Act is in line with the Murabek government's policy to take back PNG through agriculture. Similar meetings will follow in Port Moresby tomorrow for Southern Region and next Monday, March 21st, for the Momase region. Talasia MP Francis Maneke, a strong advocate for change in the oil palm industry, was present for the meeting. OPIC General Secretary Capson Pupita said OPIC Board have started the process of looking at the OPIC Act, which was enacted in 1992 and had good feedback from the stakeholders' consultation meeting. He said the Makam Valley of Morbe Province, Ramo Valley of Medang, and Sipik Plains were the new frontiers of the oil palm industry outside of the established West New Britain. Agriculture and Livestock Minister John Simon said OPIC Act has been in place for a long time and needs to be reviewed as it only allows OPIC to provide extension services to the smallholder growers, whereas the big oil palm companies operate in an unregulated industry. OPIC, under the current legislative framework, cannot impose sustainable oil palm practice, collect levies, charge licensing fees, create regulations and standards, and others. Minister Simon says once the Act is passed, growers will no longer have to pay some of the fees that they are currently paying. Susan Oriape, TV1 News.